Hello guys, this is Ajay from Pixelo.net. Today we're gonna play around with Adobe Illustrator to create a cool hand-drawn typographic illustration using pen tool, a reference image, and a cool free font. Let's get jump into it. First, let's create a new document in Illustrator. Rename and set the document size you like. Change the color mode to RGB. Now I have a beautiful reference image of a deer by Unsplash.com. I provide the link of this image in the description below so you can download it too. Now we want to turn the layer of this image to a template layer. Simply go to layer panel and double click layer 1. Check template and lift the image to 50%. Then create a new layer to the vector. Set the foreground color to none and background color to black. Then start drawing around the deer with the pen tool. As it's supposed to look like hand-drawn, so a rough drawing will be fine. Now flip the shape by going to Object, Transform, Reflect. Check Vertical and hit OK. Then type the words you would like to use with Type tool. In this case, I use Sunrise International font by the branded quotes, as it is perfectly fit to what I'm looking for for this tutorial. You can find the link to this font in the description below. Select the text then go to Object, Expand. Right click on the text then select Ungroup. Then select each word then group it one by one. It's time to create a basic composition by placing each word inside the illustration. The result really depends on what quote you choose. It is the short quote or the long one. The longer quote you choose, the more complicated it is to create a great composition. Now we gonna distort the words to fit the illustrations. Go to Object, Envelope Distort, and choose Make with Mesh. Set the rules to 1 and the columns to 2, then hit OK. Repeat this step for every word. Sometimes you need to have 3 columns for the longer word. It really depends on how long the word is. Use Direct Selection tool to supply your row with the text. Move the knot and the handle to change the directions. Repeat this step to every words. Now select all text and go to object, expand. Then go to object again and select compound path, make. Select both text and illustration, then open path panel panel and click on minus front. It's time to add texture to the illustration. You can find the link to download these free textures below. Copy texture and back to our work document and select the illustration. Then open Transparency panel and click Make Mess. Uncheck Clip and select the blank thumbnail and paste the textures there. Resize the texture to fit the illustration. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe and see you next time.